Now there's a another mechanism called the auto release pool. The auto release pool is the piece where memory management uh, some of it happens automatically. The auto release pool facilitates releasing objects that gets passed around from method to method. And um, because most objects um, have a lifetime of more than just one method, um, pretty much every object goes through the auto release pool and we'll see exactly how this works uh, later in the presentation. Uh, the auto release pool is a fundamental convention in Objective C and Coco. Um, it saves a lot of manual calls to retain and release. If we didn't have the auto release pool, our, our source code would be littered with uh, many, many extra retain and release calls. And of course, extra code means extra bugs. So, auto release pool is uh, pretty handy once you get your head around it. So the auto release pool is basically an object which has a list of other objects that it's going to send the release message to at some point later in time. You add an object to the auto release pool using the auto release method, which is a method on the NS object uh, base class. So any object that you have when you when you pass the auto release message, it causes the object to add itself to the auto release pool. Now the auto release pool gets emptied at the end of the current event that the app is processing. By emptying the auto release pool, what that does is it passes the release message to every object that was in the auto release pool, which will cause many of those objects to get deleted from memory. So we're going to go through step by step and see exactly what that means. So the iPhone is um, program the iPhone is event based programming. So the program has an event loop. Every time an event happens, such as you touching the screen, we go through this loop, event loop where an event is created, your code gets to handle the event, and then you return back to the operating system and uh, we go around the loop for the, the next time. And let, So let's see how the auto release pool uh, hooks into the event loop. So an event happens when someone touches the screen. The iPhone operating system creates an event object. And then it calls your code passing that event object. Your code that you wrote, which is, this is probably um, a handler in um, a view controller. In the process of doing what it does, it's going to create some new objects. If you have your code pass the auto release message to those new objects then those objects get added to the current auto release pool after your code is finished running it returns from handling this event at this point the operating system has the auto release pool emptied what that does is it passes the release message to those objects that you'd created and passed the auto release message to before so when you set parse auto release, it's like a promise that at the end of the event loop, release will get called on the object. Now, when release gets called on that object, if it causes the retain count to go to zero, those objects get deleted. So you can see this mechanism is a way that objects which are like temporary objects created just uh, in the handling of this event get created by your code. Your code doesn't have to clean them up itself, but it auto-releases them so that as the event loop, uh, as we go around the event loop and your code is finished processing that particular event, those temporary, ob temporary objects can get released. After the auto-release pool has been emptied, that's when the screen gets updated and we can go back around the event loop again. So let's look at that in more detail and see um, precisely what happens. So this is a sequence diagram where we're going to step through that uh, event loop cycle and see who the players are and what the messages are exactly. Across the top here I've got objects. First of all, this represents the iPhone itself, the iPhone OS object. This object, your app, represents the entire executable, the process, which is the, your iPhone application. 
um, and we have the auto release pool object and then your view controller. So the intention of this diagram is everything in yellow is code that you didn't have to write and the stuff in green that's code that you did write. And uh, why we say you didn't have to write your app is because that represents all of the Cocoa Touch libraries that uh, you use when you write your program. So let's step through this sequence. When an event, has, so when a finger touches the screen, that creates an event that the iPhone detects and it creates an event object for that event. The operating system sends that event to your app. When the event, when your, the event loop gets started for your, in your app, it creates a new instance of an NS auto release pool object. So this is the auto release pool. This is why there's always a current default auto release pool is because a new one gets created for every event. Then the next thing that happens is that event gets passed into your code so that you can handle the event and of course typically that's your view controller. Your view controller then gets to do whatever it wants and let's say you create a new object with an alloc. Of course when you create a new object with an alloc it has a retain count of one. Then you your the code in your view controller passes auto release to that object. When you pass the object the auto release message it causes the object to pass the message add object into the release pool. So in effect the object is adding itself to the auto release pool. That doesn't affect its retain count. It stays at one. Then after your view controller has finished processing this event, control returns back to the uh, Coco library parts of your app which are running automatically. Because we're coming out of event handling, this is when the uh, auto release pool gets emptied. How this works is the app passes the release message itself to the NS auto release pool object. Uh, and its retain count is going to go to zero and it's going to get deleted. But in the process, oops, in the process of that happening, it passes the auto release pool passes the release message to every object that it was storing in its list of objects that it's promising to release in the future. For the case of our green object here, when we pass release to it, its retain count was 1, so its retain count goes to 0, meaning it's going to get deleted at this point. The, once the auto release pool has emptied by passing release to all of the objects that were there, it itself gets deleted because the next time around the event loop we'll get a brand new auto release pool object. So uh, we're exiting out of the event loop here and after all those things have happened then the iPhone can go ahead and actually update the screen with the changes that you made and the event loop finishes.